Hello and welcome to another GCSE revision video. And in this video we're going to be looking at other ways of representing 3D shapes in 2D. In this case we're going to be looking at the plan, front and side elevation. Now besides nets, another way to represent a 3D shape in 2D is to look at it from the front, side and top. Looking down from directly above is called the plan. If we look down on a cylinder from directly above, all we would see is a circle. Now looking directly at the front of a shape is called the front elevation. If we look f front on at a cylinder, all we would see is a rectangle shape. Now looking directly at the side of a shape is called the side elevation. Again if we look side on at a cylinder all we would see is a rectangle. Ok well so much for the theory, let's have a go at putting this into practice. If you're looking directly top down and directly from the front or directly from the side and whichever angle you look at you only see a circle what three-dimensional object are you looking at? Take your time, pause the video when you're ready for the answer just press play. Okay, a sphere is the only shape that looks exactly circular no matter what angle you look at it from. Okay, how did you get on with that one? Right, let's try another one. What three-dimensional shape would look like this if seen from directly above, from straight in front, or from the side? Okay, take your time, pause the video. When you're ready for the answer, just press play. OK, a cube would look like a square from all three orientations. OK, let's see how you get on with this one. Looking from the top down, it looks like a square. But from in front and from the side, it looks like an oblong. OK, what three-dimensional objects are we looking at here? Take your time, pause the video. And when you're ready for the answer, just press play. OK, a cuboid will look like a square from one view and an oblong from the others. OK, let's try this one. When we're looking straight down from the top, it looks like a square but from both the front and side it looks like a triangle. What three-dimensional object are we looking at? Take your time, pause the video, and when you're ready for the answer, just press play. Okay, a square-based pyramid looks like a square on the plan view and a triangle from the front and side elevation. OK, last question. This is one I've actually lifted from a real GCSE paper, or a sample paper. The plan, front elevation and side elevation of a solid prism are drawn on a centimetre grid. And here we see the shapes. That's the plan, the front elevation and the side elevation. In the space below, draw a sketch of the solid prism, write the dimensions of the prism on your sketch. OK, let's see if we can just fit that entirely on the screen. OK, so that will fit just about on the screen. Why don't you pause the video, take your time, and when you're ready to hear the answer, just press play. OK, then I'm not very good at drawing, so I've taken the liberty of having drawn it earlier. 
inspired by a certain popular BBC children's television series. So all we need to do now is draw the uh, lengths on it. However, before I just draw these dimensions, I just want to show you how it's drawn. We looked at the front elevation and we see that we've got this L shape. We know that it's a prism, so we know it has the same cross section all the way through. So it's going to look like an L shape all the way through. From looking top down, you just see two rectangles. So you'd see this rectangle here and this rectangle here. And looking from the side, you'd see this rectangle here and this rectangle here. So what we're looking at is something that's like a kind of a, a step or maybe a chair. I'm not sure. OK, so we now need to put our dimensions in. So we can count the dimensions on the L shape. We've got one, two, three, four centimetres high. So this is four centimetres. And this is one, two, three, four, five centimetres long. So this is five centimetres. Now this top here is three centimetres long. So this is three centimetres. And this is two centimetres. We can also see that this is two centimetres high. So this is two centimetres. Which means this is two centimetres. Now then, what else can we say? We can look at it from the top and say this is three centimetres deep. So this is three centimetres. Now if this length here is three centimetres, then this must be three centimetres. And if this length is three centimetres, then this length is three centimetres. And if this length is three centimetres, then this length is three centimetres. which means this length is 3 centimetres. Now we know this is 2 centimetres up, but what about this one? Well we can look on the side elevation and see that this is 2 centimetres up and this is 2 centimetres up. So that means that this length is also 2 centimetres and this length is 2 centimetres. OK, now are we missing anything? Yes, we're missing this length here and this length here. Now we can either calculate that, we can just say, well, if this is 5 centimetres and this is 3 centimetres, then this is 2 centimetres and this is 2 centimetres. Or we could have just measured it off. And this is 2 centimetres and this is 2 centimetres. In point of fact, this distance here will correspond to this distance here. So this is 2 centimetres. But we could have also got that from 3 minus 5. OK, I think just before I do that, let's just really show where these distances are on the plan so that it's absolutely clear. So this 4 centimetres here is this 4 centimetres here. And this 5 centimetres is this 5 centimetres. This 3 centimetres is this 3 centimetres. Now we've already said that this 2 centimetres is this 2 centimetres. This 2 centimetres is this 2 centimetres. And up here two centimetres and two centimetres, two centimetres, two centimetres. And again here, two centimetres, two centimetres. 
two centimeters up here, two centimeters up here, three centimeters across, three centimeters across, three centimeters across, three centimeters across. Am I missing something? Three centimeters. Three centimeters. Three centimeters. Three centimeters. Three centimeters. That could either be here or here. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I'd like to wish you every success with your GCSEs and your revision, especially if you're taking them this year. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to use the, sub, um, the comment section if you have any suggestions about other videos that you'd like to see me make. Uh, other than that, good luck with your exams and I look forward to seeing you in another video.